this year particularly important because it's 25 years since the scientists went to live in the biosphere for two whole years, can you imagine? And two of them actually got married. And these two went on to form one of the US's most innovative companies, Worldview, which is radically thinking the way we access space. So would you please welcome Jane Pointer and Tabor McCallum. The fundamental unit of life is a biosphere. All life as we know it can, is within the context of the biosphere, and we have but one of them. So Biosphere 2 was meant to test the idea that we could create an artificial biosphere, a small biosphere, out of the ingredients of the only biosphere that we knew. 25 years ago, Tabor and I went into the biosphere to begin the first two-year mission. I am doing the uh, Queen's Wave there. Um, yep, yep, and yep. Tabor, unfortunately, has his arm over his face. But anyway, there we are. We were going in to test this biosphere uh, to really see, does it work? Is it possible to take a biosphere on this incredible planetary scale and, and have it uh, survive for an extended period of time? So you've seen all of the biosphere, so I'm not going to talk about any of what is in there, except the part that you haven't seen, really, which is the agricultural system. Here's the farm. I was actually in charge of the farm inside Biosphere 2, so I was in charge of growing all the food. So when you think about Biosphere 2, we, we had to take care of an entire world, right? So one of the things we had to do was grow all our food. We also had to recycle our water. We also had to manage all our atmosphere. You know, in many ways, it's just really what we're having to do on planet Earth today. So here, here's our, our farm. You know, we knew at every moment where all the food we were eating from came from. We knew exactly what was in our food. You know, we were incredibly connected to our food, to the animals. You know, it took us four months to make a pizza. By living as part of our little biosphere and seeing another biosphere outside, Earth's biosphere, and having this sort of intra-biospheric communication, we would say, you know, what is our CO2 today? And they'd, outside in the Earth's biosphere, they'd say what their CO2 was today and what our oxygen was and what their oxygen was and have a two biospheres that we could sort of compare and understand. You know, we would get weather reports in the morning and in the evening, what the CO2 was and the oxygen was and temperatures. So we were really in touch with our little biosphere, and it's a very similar, it seems, experience to what uh, astronauts talk about. Uh, so we've taken this idea to a company called Worldview that uh, Jane and I and others started, and the idea is to uh, do two things, to understand our planet using high-altitude balloons. These are very extremely low environmental impact way of getting instruments into very critical parts of the Earth's atmosphere uh, for long durations to understand global change and global warming and, and the chemical balances that are occurring in our atmosphere using high-altitude balloons that fly for long periods of time, uh, but also using those uh, this same technology set to take people to 100,000 feet. And the reason we think that that's really important is a lot of what we've been seeing today is getting that visceral understanding that we live in a relatively small ball. So I, um, this is a flight that we did last year at a scale flight of our, uh, our spacecraft going up to 100,000 feet. And what's important to think about this is that we're crafting a business that every aspect of it, we think about what's the environmental impact of that. What's the environmental impact if we scale the technology that we're developing to a large scale? And I think the thing that we all need to think about that we've heard a lot about today is I don't think businesses are going to succeed going forward unless they're thinking about the overall environmental impact that they're having, the way we train our people, the way we educate our people. Uh, and that's really going to be the key, I think, to really seeing the future uh, and building the kinds of companies and organizations and institutions that will do well uh, going forward. We're, this is uh, looking at from about 100,000 feet. The, uh, the lens made the earth a bit backwards on this, this one, but it's a great, great image. And then uh, after we've taken the samples we need to take, we've uh, done the, uh, the research we need to do, we fly back down under a parafoil to, uh, to get the payload back down to the location that we want it to be. And the whole system is essentially solar powered while it's flying we put out solar arrays, and the system is driven in, uh, from the power it's getting from the edge of space.